Hello there. All right. Today I'm going to be doing a stone wall uh, kind of segment. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. Just going to do a very simple line drawing of it. Um, you know, in perspective, you'd probably have it, you know, some, like a third print. But I think for an asset, we're going to want these pretty straight here. Um, same with this. We're actually going to want this pretty straight because if we put them next to each other, they're going to look funny otherwise. Um, and it's going to be like a straight head-on piece. Um, okay. I guess... Yeah, no, that'll be fine. I'm going to extend this a little bit. This can be... Actually, I should probably just extend this to be most of the square here. Yeah, so this will be more like that original top kind of spot I was drawing. Okay, so, um, <laughs> well, now that we figured that out, I realize it's actually just a square silhouette. In fact, you know what? Let's do this. Let's copy the whole thing, paste it. Um, let's make that and see it. I'm going to do this. Oops. It's kind of weird. Why is. Oh, there we go. Okay, sure. <coughs> and then I'm going to get rid of that original layer there. Okay, I'm going to lock the pixels on that. Um, oh, wrong layer. There we go. So we'll have the top bit, and the rest will be kind of like this. Okay, so let's go, I'm going to switch over to get my stone kind of color. I'm actually going to um, go open one of the rocks done from previous, so that's a tree, uh, here, there. I'm going to do some color picking from them. Uh, yeah, actually, let's just straight up copy that. Bring it into here. Awesome. Kind of do this, and... Um, <coughs> yeah, I'm going to copy that a couple times. Give it a random kind of... Uh, sure, we'll just copy it, get some shapes, kind of fill up this black space. Um, Okay, filled that up. Now I'm going to select the layer I've got. Um, is this what the hmm. fuzzy select? There you go. All right. Um, oh, let's merge all these down. Gimp's being weirdly slow with that. Uh, inverse selection, delete, beauty, um, tree. Oh, that's fine, I guess. Um, okay, we'll merge that down. Awesome, it's now. Peter's being a little slow. All right, lock that. Start to get so we're gonna want 
gonna be darker near the on the bottom kind of half. Grab a soft brush there. Like the, in other words, the top is going to be a bit brighter. The top kind of, I don't know what do you call it? the top of the wall. That's what I'm trying to say. Simple thing. I'm struggling with it. Okay. So I'm going to have to pick up the pace a bit here, I'm aware of. So I've got something like that. Kind of get like a, something like this. Yeah, okay. Kind of trying to get some look of some various stone blocks here. At the top, I'm going to cut out a little bit in these. Get the. In fact, I can like these don't need to be. Uh, let's do this. You know, perfect because they're. These are just the rocks themselves, and so even though these may need to line up with like other segments of the wall next to it. Um, it's okay because there would be this curve right here would be the same as this curve in this portion. So let's just cut out that. Hmm. Awesome. I actually quite like that. That's looking pretty good already. Perfect. Okay. Go back to this brush here. Um, get, lock the layer again so that I'm only painting on the pixels that already exist rather than zero opacity areas. Um, okay, so as we um, you know, if you've watched any of these other videos that I've put out uh, so far, you will know that I do these quite quickly, and then at some later date, we'll come back and you know do another pass on them, kind of thing. But I'm going to need to speed up. So, unfortunately, there's, you know, these could always look a lot better than I end up producing them at the moment. Um, that's just kind of how how it's going here. Let's look good. Beauty. Get a rock there. Okay. So that kind of gives me, yeah, a look of all the different rocks here. Um, awesome. So kind of start. Feel like a little bit darker lines for some of the areas here. Oh, this is actually looking quite good, not gonna lie. I'm a fan. Another thing, I almost wonder for this specific asset that's so square, if it should almost be flush to the sides of the screen. Or, like, not the, yeah, like the side of the canvas itself. Like, that would probably make the most sense, but. I'll leave it for now. That's something I'll have to play with for my how they get placed in the in engine kind of thing in my editor. Okay. <coughs> What's uh, this one here? Is not very defined. It's probably more so because of the. Yeah, I'm actually really liking this. This is looking pretty good. I would quite enjoy just detailing out these rocks for a while. I do not have the time at the moment, and once again, trying to keep them short, but 
Also, like, so in these other rocks, I've kind of got this um, rebarb sort of stuff sticking out, and I think that would be cool to have in a couple places, um, which actually might give reason not to put this to the edge of the screen, because I could have, like, a little rebarb right here. I grab that color, and then that orange. That kind of rusty kind of color. Yeah, that's cool. Um, let's get another one. Kind of just a little artifact. It's okay. And then need to really kind of make it a bit of a divot or whatever where those are. Yeah, looks cool. Um, I think it needs like one more chunk kind of somewhere in the middle just to... Oh, it also makes it... That's like interesting because it's kind of like a... Oh, that's... It makes it almost like, you know, like... You could be designed it on the top here as if it was an intentional thing to... Um, like as if they placed the rebarb in the walls with the intent of, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, like acting like palisades or barbed wire or something like that, like there's spikes, you know? Somewhere I saw, was that, I'm trying to think where this was. I don't know if it was a photo. I almost want to say it's something I saw when I was in London. It seems like a weird place, but um, and it was like it was glass built into like like old bottles and stuff like that instead of um, I think it was in London um, instead of barbed wire or something like that. It was just like, like basically like broken bottles that had been like. Um, and glass of all sorts put into the mortar of the, uh, I don't know if mortar is the right word, I do not, <laughs> I haven't built this um, concrete stone wall uh, IRL if you can't guess already, but uh, yeah, and it had like, it was pretty quiet, crazy, it looked, it looked a lot more intimidating than um, barbed wire or something like that, I'll tell you that. Just a bunch of glass shards covering the top of it. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Now, I can tell you, being somebody that has hopped um, more than a couple fences in my day, I would get be able to get through this one without much. Like, right here is your... That's definitely the window you go through, but even like here, here, just gotta be careful. Obviously, you slip. The cost of slipping onto some rusty uh, um, rebar is probably pretty high relative to, <laughs> you know, I don't know, some barbed wire or something. Although some barbed wire is pretty pretty spooky. But like a chain link fence, you know, gets a little spiky on the top sometimes on occasion. It's not too bad, obviously, but. Um, or just like, you know, the kind of palisade type stuff. I don't know. And around here, anyway, you see in like residential type stuff, it's like not super sharp. You could, like, if you fell on it, like really skewer yourself, but like you could hold it without worrying about like cutting your hand. Um, so that's not too spooky to go over. Okay. We are getting places with this one. Yeah. I, <laughs> as mentioned, I'm actually uh, quite a quite a fan of what I got going on. It's looking really cool. 
All right, I'm going to go to the bottom here and do what I did at the top and just do a bit of a cutouts at some spots. Let's grab this one again. Awesome. Oh yeah. Now Now here's kind of an interesting p detail that's uh, a little hard to deal with in a way is oh, actually here. Let me <laughs> let me wait till I'm actually at the point where I'm looking at that to talk about it here. I'm just going to div it up the bottom a bit. Jeez. When you see it all disappear there, it's because I'm, you see if I do this, uh, I'm like, so I press my mouse, grab the area to, uh, here, press click, let go, and it hasn't, but if I hit F, or I have my hotkey set to F, it um, finishes the selection, but sometimes I've, <laughs> I get a little uh, ahead of myself and I don't finish the selection, and then it basically just deletes everything since there's no actual selection. Um, okay, so what I was going to say is on the sides, if this was a single wall piece, I'd probably want to do this. But in the case that I'm layering these next to each other, they're going to... If they, like, you're going to get holes in the wall, basically. Now, that said, I don't actually have any sort of snapping or something like that built into my editor, that might be something down the road, but, um, so I might end up just layering them slightly over top of each other anyways to get kind of like, because if I won't have perfect alignment, and then if I did have a single wall, it would be more desirable. Hmm, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to divot out the sides. Um, I'm going to keep it kind of minor, like it won't go very deep with any of the divots. But, um, yeah, it's an interesting kind of, you know, you're designing a game asset and you have to consider these things here. That's, that's the other thing, though. A single wall, like, ideally, it'd be like, you do this or something to really, like, get a greater sense of perspective. But, uh... Oh, gosh. Um, I don't ever use rotation, and sometimes I accidentally hit the cot key for it, and then, uh, I, I don't, <laughs> I just have to go reset it, and I don't know the hot keys to reset it, because I don't use it, so. That was a little deep. Yeah, you're creating a game asset, and you got to consider how can I actually be used rather than just the art you're creating in the moment. Alright, I think I'm going to go div it up this side, and then for time-wise, that'll be the end of it, even though I'm having a lot of fun with this one. I could spend quite a bit of time just really enjoying getting those each different kind of stone block looking good. The only thing that I I do find like I feel like I need a little bit of extra
extra... no gosh. In the case that these were standalone, you'd kind of wish that these were, yeah, more angled, but like maybe with the... just like a little bit of excess divoting, I can kind of give a little bit of a sense of it. It's really at this corner transition bits, which maybe if I div it a little bit underneath, just like a little bit more, chunk that out. It helped a little bit, like there's a little bit more curve here, and just, it's, is definitely not perfect, but it did help. That looks pretty funny. I just kind of use that one brush with the kind of serrated edge and made these look artifacty, but that's okay. Okay, and then last thing I'm going to do is get rid of these. Uh, this kind of rebarb remnants. It would be ideal, I feel like, to have some uh, rebarb just kind of sticking out of other areas or even the sides and stuff like that. That could look cool, but time-wise, I'm going to stop there. All right, pretty happy with this one. Thanks.